my channel, another video, another neighborhood tour. Uh, today I'm actually taking you on a Rio de Nure tour in Trevi. Uh, right now we're about to walk through Piazza Venezia, which is actually a part of Rio de Nure. Uh, so we're going to start off there and I'll take you on a few sites in that neighborhood. Uh, now I know a lot of you like my last tour in Monty, so we're going to do a little bit more exploring in Rome and I think I'm going to go number by number through the Rioni in Rome to take you through basically all the neighborhoods. So maybe you can decide which one you like the best. So if you are new here, my name is Kenya. Yes, like the country and I'm an American girl documenting my life while living in Rome, Italy for all of you guys. So if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I have new uploads on Sundays and sometimes Thursdays. And yeah, come along for the ride. So first stop is actually finding out where Michelangelo's house was. Like there's a plaque on the side of one of the insurance buildings here. So that's going to be my uh, first stop. Funny thing is I've walked by so many times and I had no idea uh, that this plaque even existed. So it basically marks where his house used to stand. Uh, also, it was very funny to find out his full government name. I didn't know about that. When I think about Michelangelo, I think about just his name, not necessarily his middle name. Okay, I don't know if they had a middle name, but really his multiple last names. Uh, and his last name is apparently Bonaparte, which I had no idea. I always thought about Michelangelo as Michelangelo. Punta boss, like that's his own name. I guess I never really thought about it. And then when I was doing research for this video, I realized that, that is not his name. Uh, so it's kind of fun. And I don't have a microphone again connected to this. So I hope you can hear me clearly. Uh, it's a really busy day. It's Sunday. So everybody is in Jira. You can see uh, from my video that there are literally 1,000 people around. I miss the good old days when there was nobody around. But um, yeah. So for now, let's get started on And the vibe is more like you're going shopping. So there's a huge shopping street on the Del Porso, but it's also a very lively neighborhood full of tourists, as you can probably see, because there is the Trevi Fountain, obviously, where the Rione gets its name. So basically here you can find vendors selling trinkets in the street, gelato, shopping, everything. And since we're here, let's just do a few fast facts also about Michelangelo, because I wrote a few down before coming on this tour. So if you didn't know, Michelangelo actually lived in this very district. He lived and also died here. His home was torn down to build, I guess, the Vittoriano. Let's get a move on with the video and we're gonna go to the next stop, which is the Trevi Fountain. But first, we're gonna walk down Via del Corso, the shopping street.
bit different than, you know, during the pandemic times, obviously. I literally can't even get close to this fountain if I wanted to, and I hope it's not too loud. Uh, but here we are in Trevi, uh, at the Trevi Fountain, obviously. So this is obviously one of the most iconic monuments in Rome. I really hope you can hear me. I think someone just got proposed. Yeah, somebody got proposed. How scary How cliche. Um, <laughs> sorry, I'm judging. <laughs> I'm judging. Um, but in this district, you can find the Trevi Fountain, obviously, and there's actually an ancient underground apartment complex that you can visit as well. So if you haven't already, make sure to check out that video that I did during the pandemic, where there were no crowds whatsoever in the middle of the day at noon, and I had the Trevi Fountain all to myself, and I had a few more fun facts in that video as well, so I'll make sure to link this up here at the top. So there's actually an underground archaeological area inside of the Trevi Fountain where there was discovered in the 90s an ancient apartment complex. The funny thing is that there's still water that runs through this apartment complex and you can actually go on a tour to see it as well. So make sure you book that in advance. I believe you can book by WhatsApp, but I will link the details in the description box below. So let's move on to the next stop of the tour, which is Quirinale. There are a thousand people around. I literally can't record any, so I'm going to make sure. I hope this gets out of my video. I'm going to make sure that um, we move on to the next one. with all those people <laughs> we're gonna take a government break and go to Quirinale so there's actually kind of two sites I'm gonna show you here one being the actual palace itself and another being a museum that's located nearby um, there's actually an exhibition going on right now about Arte Libera if I'm not wrong. let me check no Arte Libera um, I'm not gonna go inside today but I do encourage you to book in advance and try to visit if you do have a few more days in the city I don't think it's like a necessity or at the top of your list if you're in Rome, but it could be nice if you're here for like five days or more to check it out. So guys, now here we are at the Quirinale Palace. Palazzo del Quirinale behind me. Just easy to record this direction. I hope the lighting is okay. It is a former residence of the Pope's and now it is home to the Italian president. It is actually one of three official residences for the president of Italy. There's another one in the suburbs of Rome and another one outside of the city in Naples. Well, really not outside of the city, another city entirely in Naples. So you can actually go inside on various tours. I tried to book, but unfortunately it was too late and it's completely sold out for the next two months. Anyway, I really would like to go in one of these days I need to book two months in advance, but now we're going to go over to the site where the museum actually is. I've never been inside, but it's on my list. There's Palazzo Barberini and Palazzo Corsini. In closing, it's basically one museum with two galleries. Uh, and it's kind of near the metro station as well. There's a metro line, uh, a metro stop there called Barberini. Out on the piazza, there's a cinema there. People like to do a baby TiVo there. Uh, there's a hotel as well there, or there used to be. I think there still is now. Let's continue the walk.
Uh, if you haven't already, make sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload. I have new uploads on Sundays and sometimes Thursdays. Um, and I'm going to actually take you guys inside of Palazzo Barberini and one of my future uploads and one of my day in the life videos. So make sure to stay tuned for that and I will see you guys in the next one. Ciao.